It's story time. I'm ready. Here's a story about a car chase that I had with my ex-boyfriend. So, here we go. I have about three or four car chase stories. So, here is the first one. Uh, I may call this Do For Love <laughs> Chronicles. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, so I was with my ex during this time. It had to be like early 2000s, like 2009. Let's just say nine. So it was a while ago. And we were young and balling, okay? <laughs> and crazy as hell. Both of us is crazy as a motherfucker. He was mad at me as usual because I was constantly being a fuckhead. So, because I was just very rebellious and doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. So, he, uh, we shared a car and I was with one of my bitches and we was getting money. Okay, so we run around, we get it. We run around and get it. He wanted the car back, but I'm like, how are we gonna get money if I don't got the car? You feel me? Hold up, my charger. Okay, we back. So I really felt at the time that yo, I'm the one that's getting this dust. Okay, I need the car, and you got me fucked up right now. Plus, I got my little bitch here. We about to get this dust and keep it pushing. And I think at that time I was trying to go out of town or something like that. But I just wasn't moving quick enough. And I felt like you roll with the goon squad. So you got access to it, right? You can get where the fuck you need to go. You're just trying to be controlling right now. So I'm riding around, get there. I'm riding around, I'll get there, okay? So I usually would kick it in the outskirts of the hood, which would generally be in the suburbs. And I was in Boston, so, uh, you know, there's different towns, okay, surrounding different towns. So, I usually stayed in the birds, you know what I'm saying, in, like, a nicer area. And so, but, you know, before, you know, throughout, throughout the day, I would be in and out the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, for whatever I need, if I need to go get some more clothes for a couple of days, whatever. Okay, so I would go in and out get some stuff and there's just things that you can get in the hood as a black person that you just can't get nowhere else. So we was getting the things that we need. Right? So something I had went up American Legion. And I was thinking, like, I don't know, I don't know. This nigga, like, he's mad popular. Like, it was just, it was, I rolled with a crew full of just goon ass niggas, right? So uh, I was like, I got, my, I got, my, got my friend with me, you know, my friend. And well, she was really my friend. She's really, I really miss her, but she hates my bed. So that's that. Anywho, he. Uh, so I was going up American Legion and I was just like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know. Like, fuck it though. I got to, I got to, I got to come up this way to get to where I need to go. It was just no way around it. And I was like, if I move quick enough, then I'll get to where I'll get what I need to get and get it done and get back on my money making mission. Oh, that's what I'm on a money making mission. I'm on, I'm on my phone, my phone. Hello. Hey, that's before Kevin Gates where he has uh two phones. Bitch, I had six. Okay. I had six phones. I had the little stickers on there so I could tell. <laughs> so I'm coming up and was I on Blue Hill Ave? I don't know where I was, but I hit I hit on a main street. So if you're trying to be on the low, don't hit no main streets, okay? So I got hit on a main street. And this fool was in the car with his nephew, right? And he's like, get off the fucking car. Get off the motherfucking car. Get off the motherfucking car. And I'm like, oh my God, he fucking got me on shit. And my bitch is like, oh, shit, what are we going to do? I'm like, lock the fucking door. Rolling up the windows. The windows going up slow. Then a motherfucking shit. I'm like, ah. 
Bitch, we were scared as fuck because this nigga's crazy. He jumped out the motherfucking car, told all the people, don't you fucking move. Don't you fucking move. And, and I'm like, oh shit, they're listening to him. The light turned green. And them bitches did not move. So I couldn't drive. So, that, oh my God, that's another way he had me on lock because I just felt like he knew everybody. And he did. Okay. So, bitch, so it was fight. Or flight. Bitch, I jumped the curb, okay? Blue clunk clunk across the fucking middle thing. I clunk. I mean, it sounds so bad. I knew I fucked that car up for sure, okay? We was like, oh, good. I just kept stepping on gas like, fuck it. Zoom. Got up through. Nigga got up through. Them niggas hit the same shit I did and right on my motherfucking ass, right? So we zooming through the street. Foo, foo, foo. And I and we, we used to get rentals because we was both young and we are making all this money and we just really didn't know how to move, okay? I mean, just facts. We were young and dumb and had a whole lot of money. It just really, we was coming off hella money per month for fucking rental. So this specific rental, um, would had one of those like speedometers where they limit how you gas the car. And so I was just chump, 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 down the fucking gas pedal, trying to get away from this thing. And he's on my ass. But see, he forgot. He taught me how to drive wild and crazy like that and get up through because I got motherfucking handles. Okay. So it, I learned really, I knew how to drive before I went to Boston, but I really learned how to drive in Boston, okay? Everybody does 100 miles per hour. So I'm, yo, 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 he's on my ass, yo, 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 right? Boom, I hit a corner, boom, I hit another corner, boom, I'm hitting corners on these motherfuckers, about to crash and all kind of shit. I get in a fucking neighborhood, and it's a cul-de-sac, but it's a huge cul-de-sac. You know how sometimes cul-de-sacs are kind of small? This was a big, huge-ass circle where we could, like, race type shit, right? So, he's, like, over here, and I'm, like, over here, but going, like, this way. So, we going opposite directions. Well, well, mind you, the cool part, the cool part that you're down. Stun it. I pulled in that motherfucker, and we was like, you, do, 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 and your girl was shaking on that nigga. Soon as that nigga come up, I'll back up. Back the fuck up. Skirt. You know what I'm saying? So we skirt, 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 and then that cul-de-sac, right? Bitch. So I just sat there, and I waited for a second, and I was just like, spooky dookie, because I knew if, I, if this nigga was to get to me, he was going what my motherfucking ass. I'm sorry, mama. I'm sorry, family. But that that was the facts of life, okay? So, boom, I was like, fuck you, nigga. So, <laughs> so, the nigga get out the car after a few minutes, right? So, because we just sitting there, he fuming. But see, I was scared and mad. When I get scared, I get pissed. You know what I'm saying? So, I really developed that fucking with his crazy gas. So, he get out the motherfucking car and he get to my door. Who didn't scare all the way back to the road and got the fuck out that neighborhood? What are you talking about? Okay? And where I was, I knew I could get to the highway in 2.0. Yo, bitch was zoom, 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 to that highway. I was on my way to New York City, baby. I was on the way. I drove for like an hour. I got caught in traffic, but I was way out. I got all the way to Worcester, which is like an hour away. And I was out of there. That nigga was blowing me up, blowing me up, blowing me up. And I couldn't focus because he was like on my head so heavy. And girl, so baby, your girl got up through. But my old sucker for love ass, get to Worcester, hit a few corners. Because, you know, when you're fucking with some unhealthy ass shit, they get to guilt tripping your motherfucking ass for doing the right thing for yourself. So, I hit a couple corners. I pulled over and she was mad. Like, oh, I know this bitch gonna go listen to him and whoop this girl. But see, she didn't know I had a nigga, so I was trying to play, you know, the game like a nigga, but 
And I did it for a while, but she stuck around. That was she was ride or die. That's a trill real one right there. And uh so I ended up going back to the bean. But we like argued it out, fought it out, and I still ended up getting my way anyway. I mean, it only made logical sense. I'm the one getting the dog. You need to throw me the key so I can get to the fucking money. But the nigga tried to put me in a little timeout, so whatnot, whatever. So I fucking, you know, sad time out. Got out of time out, got back to the money, and I was riding around and I was getting it. Fuck out of here. So, long story short, don't let no nigga stop your money flow, girl. That's why I fucked up. Learn from your big sis. Your big sis is here to show you these stories. Don't be no sucker for love. <laughs> But girl, I had handles on that motherfucker. You hear me? Scared, 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 scared. Ooh, I wish I had sound effects. Like I wish I could recreate that crazy ass story. It was more crazy. Uh, well, it, it sounds crazy. So I got a few other car chase stories to share. So that's my story time of me and my crazy ex causing accidents on American Legion. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story. I look forward to telling more. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, love, and hair grease, and all that jazz. We'll win for life. Check me on the next one. Peace.